Okay, practicing the three minutes blitz and looking at the current evaluation analysis of the potential value for the moves, uh, especially when it gets to a sticky wicket situation. Let's just uh, continue as usual here and support the knight and let's castle king safety. So all the major things have been done. So now we're looking, going to focus at what's the potential value for each of the moves in order for us to gain an advantage. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong for sure. And again, we could do the same thing, but I don't want to chase it away just yet. He's got a lot of pressure coming down towards our king, our, our center. So I'm going to try and open up around the side. So flank it a little bit. Smaller piece supporting, attacking the queen here. So that's going to work for us. Okay, so now we've got to make a little bit more space. Could just bring this here. We have like three or four pieces protecting there. They may just go for it anyway. So we've got the same amount of pieces. So he's got a rook, one, two, three. Okay, so he's not doing that. So if we went for this now, it's just going to open up space around our king. So I'm actually going to move the knight. Discover check to the bishop. Bishop's going to take, so we've got space in the centre. Only problem we've got is the queen moves away from here. Now he's got space in the centre. He doesn't actually do that, so I think they missed the tempo there. And then we're looking to go here, attacking the queen, but we're not going to get away with it because it's just going to drop the pawn. But it gives them something to think about because it does have this x-ray through. Okay, so he's not gone with that one, so the bishop then attacks. Oh, bishop doesn't attack, okay. Get a discovered check on there, but it's, we don't win much really, it's a bit of time. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> a bit of time. I thought we'd got the queen for free then, but our queen's already gone. So placement of pieces, now they're going defensive, okay, which might slow them down a little bit because I think they should have taken our rook, but hey, I might be wrong. And they've resigned, because we've got a nice fork on the rook and the rook. Yes, because the rook should have really probably taken here. So that was a quick blitz match for today. And have a quick look at the analysis, because we do fly through these things. And mistakes are definitely made in blitz um, across the board. So go back and just take a quick flick through. I think we talked through most of the points, so um, I think there was a, a moment where we could have definitely have lost. These are the key things that we have to keep practicing, not just glorifying in any advantages. This is how we get better by looking at what we did wrong and trying to improve on that. So they brought their queen up there, 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 and now this was the point here because we're winning at the minute, right? Okay, so expected this, then take this. Still sure we're winning actually, because then what I was saying is got like three pieces on this pawn. So it's plus one and it's one point three. So are we taking? No, it's still plus anyway. Interesting, and they're still plus one. Positionally, it's not looking too clever for them though, is it? Because we're coming with the rook here facing off. Okay, yeah, so that was all right. That was fine, there's nothing to worry about. Brilliant. Let's go. See what we can bring to the table here. Um, okay, let's grab. Develop as usual. Let's go, yeah, yeah. All pretty normal stuff. And last but not least, get the bishop out. And a little check on the king. And castling. Just bring the queen through. Nice one, nice one. Just take him with the knight. And let's take this bishop. And 
let's shall we take with the queen here because obviously it can take this pawn if the rook comes to challenge so there's potential values there this rook can come and put a 2 on 1 on this pawn as well and it's definitely x-raying through to the queen through to the yep so he's actually done that could take but then his queen will take us so that's that's a negative put a check on didn't really want the king to move but never mind because I wanted this lovely x-ray type situation we're on his rook as well at the same time so we could actually take the rook but shall we go with this one we're, one, we're loving this movement it should give us something if the king moves then we've got a 2 on 1 on the rook Ah, oh, that's not fair so we could go here but then he takes our queen and he, we take his queen and which is a bit of a shame isn't it um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, he drops the pawn we take this pawn <coughs> okay so he's got rid of the x-ray through anyway <coughs> on his rook yeah <coughs> so he's moving dead quick now let's take a few pawns here takes a pawn here does take the pawn there let's put a check on and he's moving so quick like he's got it all sewn up let's go here with a check and last but not least let's start pushing do, do, do. let's bring the rook here uh, ooh, it's, it's like a 2 on 1 on there so we'll go here One three three, take. Uh, we can do this. Let's just push, push, push. Might be a bit of a struggle now with all these pawns that we've got going here. <coughs> I don't know. It's going to content with all them. These are these are linked as well. <coughs> um, yep got these pawns here okay nice one so off he goes push 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 does he really want to take them he's taking it <laughs> yeah, let's go queen and let's oh and they've resigned okay Let's have a look at the analysis on that one. Well, looked like it was all over the shop. Okay, so it opened up pretty normal stuff, normal all the way through, just attacking nice and steady. And then gone a little bit quicker with the queen and stuff like that. I mean, in my normal games, I'd just bring the queen back here or bring it down here, you know, or to the side here like that. But it's nice to try something different. So we put a check on. We know it's going to get blocked. Bring the rook um, queen side castle in as well, so it's always nice to try and practice different queen, you know, castling uh, positions as well. So we capture, capture, uh, gauge bars really on our side. Okay, um, we must have messed it up somewhere because it was all over us at one stage. And um, we captured, captured, position play for check, position grabbing the pawn, grabs the rook. Wow, okay, it's still in our favour because we've got all these pawns, I suppose, is it? Uh, I thought it dipped then. Yeah, it's dip it three point. Oh, that's not, a, that wasn't a bad show after all. Okay, yeah, so at this point here, then that's pretty plain sailing. We can allow him to snap up some pawns. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, last one. Just capture here and let's capture quick development. Got the opponent thinking already. Let's just uh, develop and capture, capture, nothing else, and let's castle. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Developing the bishop diagonal towards the loose pawn if it becomes loose. 
this pawn doesn't have any protection on it at the moment I'm going to attack his bishop through our bishop attacking the knight ok let's go here so he gets the pawn anyway and he doesn't go for the pawn just yet go with the rook but then his bishop comes here or there take with a check excellent so be nice to get our rook here could just get rid of this bishop let's just attack the bishop smaller piece attacking a higher piece jams his bishop in a little bit jams his bishop in a little bit Okay, get the king here looking to get the king here um, let's take I've opened up the bishop there moved a bit fast but never mind still got a blockade here see if we get the rooks off and capture it so we're plus one can we take advantage of this situation potential value is trying to reduce down okay and king time okay so it's dropped there could come inside here no maybe not come here I'm gonna get two on one on this pawn maybe make some space for our linked pawns here got the same pieces on this side here so it's equal exchange so I'm going to take let me just take so we've got the oh and they've resigned okay so that was a, a good final one so we've played the three and nice and testy keeps our hand in I uh, don't need to do any more than that excellent oh it was so quick I mean we're playing it so quick and there's gonna be mistakes made during it but just having a look at the evaluation So night night or oh, pretty normal um, this is not normal for us um, normally we push here now you know we push through the centre here blocking this pawn so that we can develop this um, our knight you know so that they can't push here but today we went well we're going to take and that's what we used to do before but from our evaluation as you can see it sort of dipped a little bit um, we came out with well just pushing that pawn Anyway, because we're so used to playing that sort of um, movement, it wasn't a big shakes to us. So they push through, attack, attack, attack. And now we're looking to try and get a better comfortable position. We were worried about this pawn here. I think they, maybe the move order wasn't as right as it could have been. Um, I suppose the bishop is unprotected, so it has to do something with the bishop, but the rook could have taken could it not if it did take then if we took with a check on his king then his rook's in the centre of the board gauge bar's not, not a fan of that move so maybe that's probably why they didn't do it, interesting times ok yeah, so we grabbed, grabbed and took the rook off the board attacked the bishop, closing down its um, span of attack and then we got carried away by capturing um, but in any event I suppose if we had left it and just carried on he could have taken taken uh, got like an isolated pawn in the middle there and he could have come and attacked it again no not from the front mm -hmm. that's all a bit of a muchness really it's showing minus 2.4 so that's not too bad I suppose so yeah we could have left it so minus 2.4 and with us capturing it's minus 3.6 so capturing was the right thing <laughs> oh, don't doubt yourself ok because I didn't want to open up the bishop but it don't have anything to jump onto so there was no worries there so looking for the exchange capture capture so that one pawn seems to be giving us a little bit of a sting so it's now minus seven and yeah that was the, a duff move um, I think I did that just to entice that down actually but I don't know we should have just maybe 
simplified it a little bit better and just gone straight here yeah just gone straight to this for the doubling for the double attack on the pawn simplify yeah don't get carried away and then the opponent resigns so yeah that was a nice game again don't underestimate myself and obviously go for the simple moves rather than going for this king move over here <laughs> interesting times